Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I just want to take a look at what people's setup is on the beach today. And we're on the beach in Port Aransas, Texas, Mustang Island. I boondock 365 days a year out of my F-150. And I do like looking at other people's setups. That's pretty cool. They got everything. They're comfortable. Want to go up here? I see another cool setup. Yeah, we're right along the Gulf of Mexico. And it has been overcast and foggy and a little bit rainy. And you know what? I do not care. Because a, a bad day on the beach is better than a good day at the office. Well, this guy's got a cool setup. Ooh, got a work truck and making the most of Ooh, that's a nice bike. That, that night, that's a nice bike. You have a good day. I believe they were French. Was that French they were speaking, guys? Parlez-vous français? Je me suis comme tout à l'heure ici, la Uh, French fry. There you go. I got all my French in. Omelette du fromage. Cheese omelette. There you go. When I played hockey in uh, Canada, when we were in uh, the Quebec and Montreal area, in, uh, when I was in, I don't know, ninth or 10th grade, Steve Martin had an album out, and in it he talks about being in France. And learning to say omelette du fromage, which is a cheese omelette. So when I went to the uh, French-speaking part of Canada, they're nice rigs. Very, very nice rigs. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, wherever we went that didn't have a uh, pictures on the menu, I had a omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. And then when they bring it, I would say, merci. Every, every once in a while, I'd give them the merci beaucoup. <laughs> it's a weekday, so the people here are kind of like the people that came down, and they're all just boondocking on the beach. Not everyone's boondocking. Some of these big rigs have generators and their own electricity. Port Aransas is nice. So, to drive on the beach in Port Aransas, in case you're new to my channel, you get a beach tag. And that's my beach tag right there, the top one. And that costs $12 a year. And for $12 a year, you can drive and park on the beach every day and every three weeks legally according to the rules you can stay three nights overnight on the beach every three weeks and that's all included in your twelve dollars a year that's a interesting rig that's like a cool mini truck huh I like it I like it now I know people who literally live here on the beach, which I think is pretty awesome. And as long as you're not acting like a fool or trying to set up a homeless community, uh, you get left alone. You start doing stupid things. You win stupid prizes. Uh, you get their attention. Yeah, they're going to run you out of here. Or you're going to win a free trip to the Nueces County Jail in Corpus Christi. Now, you can drive on the beach without a beach tag. There's another grid all set up. They got their slides out. They got flags. Don't tread on me and an American flag. Woo! -hoo. I do like a good American flag. Yeah, the beach is considered a roadway. So all the rules of 
the road apply to the beach, driving on the beach, and it's 15 miles per hour. You can have you can have dogs on this beach. They're supposed to be on a leash. I don't care. I love your dogs. As long as you don't have an aggressive dog, I don't care. The people that enforce the codes, the police and the uh, code enforcement, they might have a different opinion. <laughs> Here's a dog. Black cat crosses our path, it's bad luck. Any dog crosses our path, it's good luck. You know what kind of dog he is? You know what kind of dog that is? That's a 100% good boy right there. Well, wait a minute. He might be a good girl. I take that back. Sorry, right, buddy. Here's the sand dunes. You're supposed to stay out of the sand dunes. They are protected. But they have taken a beating. We've had some super high tides lately. So they are, uh, I notice most of the vegetation is, is gone. Maybe it's just this one little stretch here. I hope so. There are showers right there if you come here. They're outdoor showers. They don't have hot water, but in the summer, you're going to get hot water because it's, it's going to be hot here. Wow, here's a whole stretch where no one's parked. I think we should conduct a social experiment and I'll just randomly park in the middle of this quarter mile where there's absolutely no one and see how long it takes for someone to come park right next to me. I'm saying about eight minutes. <laughs> and when I stay overnight here, I'll pick a, a spot like that and I'll park and I'll get in the back and just as I fall asleep, Someone will pull up three feet away and get their generator out and have their TV and music going. You know, these kids today and their rock and roll. <laughs> wow, we hit a stretch with nobody. That is weird. Look at the dunes. They're looking pretty cool today. I love dunes. Let's get a joke from the dad joke button. What do you say? You ready? You heard the rumor going around about butter? Never mind. I shouldn't spread it. <laughs> All right. That joke wasn't bad. I think we've heard that before, though, right? That's okay. I don't know if you heard that one. That didn't come out very loud. I probably don't have it. Uh, oh, it is turned all the way up. Well. Wow. I just think the ocean uh, waves kind of kind of drowned out the noise. Look at this, guys. There's no cars here in Port Aransas. A little bit different than two weeks ago when it was spring break. Hold on. I want to say hi to some friends. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Steve. Kevin, you owe me that six bucks. Mother, man. Hey, Gail. You got two legs, girl, and they're both looking fine today. I'm talking to you, sweetheart. All right. You have a good day. Tell the kids I said hi. Especially that one that looks like me. Where is everyone today? It is humid, guys. Oh, there's a car. Hey, buddy, that's my spot. <laughs> Let's get out on the road. Let's get down to where the pilings end. What time is it? It's 5.08 p.m. Shouldn't this be rush hour? Or is this just when the day people go home and there's another small squadron right there? The pelicans. Dun, 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 Lots of porta potties. I will say this the nastiest porta potties I have ever seen have been right here in Port Aransas, Texas. Of course, I was at Rockport Beach last night and uh, I opened up the porta potty door and it looked like someone tried to make a milkshake, 
but left the lid off the blender. You can imagine what flavor that was. Yes, yes, if you said chocolate, that is correct. Yikes. That vision's going to be burned in my, uh, in my mind forever. I had a really good day over here in Port Aransas, guys. What do we got here? They got like a little dirt bike. Is that a dirt bike or like an e-bike? I think that's a dirt bike. I can't even tell anymore. Dum, 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 I think that's the one uh, Evil Knievel tried to jump the Snake River Canyon in. Evil Knievel's dead. Bobby Knievel's dead. Where's the next Knievel? And isn't it, he spells his name K-N. Shouldn't it just be N, like knife? Why is it Knievel? That's crazy. Mile marker 15. When I have my choice of hanging out for some reason, I go to mile marker 22 or higher. I do like to um, go further down the beach where there is nobody. We got a wave. Last second wave. Good for them. Yeah, I like more open spaces, but I also like to have a cell phone signal. When I know I'm not going to get a cell phone signal, I, I try to download some entertainment to watch as I go to sleep. So those of you that have wondered why I haven't watched your videos lately, it's because I've been at the beach, man. I've been at the beach. Here, we're getting up to the end of the pilings. There's another shower area. Anyone need a shower? I'm smelling something and it ain't me. It, it's... It's probably me. Let's go see the water. Yeah, the, the pilings, what are they called? Begins with a B. Bollards. These poles in the ground, bollards. They end right up here. They end at mile marker, what is this, 19? Yep. Mile marker 19, the bollards end, and it's party time. Wow, there's some big rigs down the road. Let's show you the water. Not a whole lot of trash, said Dennis. There's uh, free bags here if you want to take a minute and pick up some trash at the beach. They give you those free netted bags. You can save the planet. There's the Gulf of Mexico. I hope you're all doing well. You know who I haven't heard from lately in the comments is my friend Julie in Ireland. Julie, I hope you're doing okay. The rest of you, thanks for riding along today. There you go. Thanks for watching.